Good morning, guys. This is 2021. Happy New Year. After the holiday, we start the job continuing the retaining wall. As I showed you in previous video, how we set the footing in 220. And now we start to laying the blocks. We set blocks, retaining wall. So this is the plan for the retaining wall. The RW2, it's a retaining wall number two. It's going to one course, two course, three course, up to seven course here. RW1, seven course up to there. Seven courses or five courses? We have changed the RW1 to RW2. Now we have a one RLW2. Oh, are all of them changed to the R R W two. R W two. Okay. How 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 many courses? Up to one point one. We're going okay. five courses plus caps. Is that side? Yeah. Five courses plus caps. Five courses plus caps will be one hundred and uh, one meter. We are allowed something. to go one point one plus caps, but because the blocks is two hundred, we're going five courses plus. Hmm. And how how much we are from the one? So now we set the line for the blocks. The block is 200 wide. As you can see the blocks. It's 190. And this line showing the finish of the face. That should be about 100. This start bar should be in the middle of the blocks. 100 that side and 100 the other side. Today we're trying to line all blocks. And tomorrow we do the core fill. Concrete core fill. To the blocks. That's the line for the first course. We set up two posts to line all every layer of the blocks. So now we need to mix sand and cement to laying the blocks. 20 shovel of this the paving sand. Uh, actually, yeah, it's a brick sand. With one bag of the cement that's off white cement and you mix it to the mixer that should be good first add some water to the mixer and sand and cement is not stick to the body of the mixer. So we are settling the blocks. We have a board under the mix cement, it's not touching the surface, and then we can clean it easily. We put two line, and then on top of that we do the blocks.
That's a test course. Same process. And for this course, we put the, the, the steel bar in the middle of the blocks to hold them and join them. If you look at the joints, it's filled up by the motor sand and cement and then we do the core fill later when we finish the bar we complete all holes by the concrete So after finish laying the blocks, we use these tools to do the line. That's a small one and that's the big, biggest part. And then we bring the line in the blocks like that. That's the finish. Make it nicer on the side, a bit push to make it long like this part. Look how it's finished. The client wants a finish so, uh, face. Um, don't want to add any rendering or painted that's a finish of the floor and then later we after the core fill we put the caps on top of that to cover all these holes also after the two cores every two cores we add the um, steel bar in the channel lines to hold the blood 
horizontally and vertically in two directions. So, as you can see, we follow we follow the existing level in the neighbor, and the wall should be higher than the next door neighbor. And by that, we are starting by three courses, and then we continue here, a step up, four courses, going there, five courses, and then from here, we're going to six. Yes, Tom? Everything good? <laughs> Everything's good, yeah. By the six courses, nice. the height of the. Yeah, we can keep continuing all the. Yeah? Six and then drop to the four. That should be good. A step down looks better. Okay. And then we're going to the six. So that's the uh, end of the wall, coming there, L shape for the corners to catch the and tie two walls together, use the bar, L bar at the joints. And these are the L bar through the blocks and then coming to that side. And then we continue the steel bar for these blocks. Killing the edge of the first course. So guys, this is the next day, yesterday we laying the blocks and today we coming to waterproofing behind the retaining wall. Tom helps us to do the first coat behind the wall with the roll for the first course. We, we clean the back of the wall to the, the smooth surface and then we cover it by the first coat as you can see Tom do it Tom do it very well <laughs> Yeah Tom do it very well What's the waterproof ink membrane? I'll show you about from the bunning Turn over that side. It's 
a waterproofing advanced waterproofing for all positive and negative applications it's two parts we use together it provides for the watertight finish to dump damp uh, machinery and the concrete surface yeah. we need to do the two coats we're doing first coat today and we leave it to dry and tomorrow we do another coat behind the wall and then we try to do the um, install the drainage agri pipe and aggregate um, membranes fabric behind the wall that help to stop the water it's not come through the through the face of the wall okay. this is that let's show how is it and when it's dry the color change to the dark brown or dark green on behind the wall it's good so this is the next day and we're doing the second coat waterproofing this one is the black color finish heavy duty heavy duty water, um, waterproofing is this one it's black seal heavy duty waterproof and yeah it's a premix it's easy and it's a colorful to roll it in the back of the wall we continue all through the wall and then we'll be ready for the install um, aggregate and agri pipes also we fill the expansion joints like that by the silicone waterproofing gray color in that one in the joints and i will do the face later and then do the waterproofing on top show you this one if you can you can buy it from the bunning warehouse so I want to show you what roller which roller we using that's a rough texture surface it's 20 millimeter nap that's a good one for the exterior and the rough surface like the brick wall or the block walls it's easier to cover the joints and holes and everywhere mm. you can use a tray we did it for the first coat and the other waterproof and for this one we're using just the bucket and I'll show you how I use the bucket. Yeah, do it to me. Like that. Roll it all over the roll. Takes more pain. Actually, waterproof and give it to Tom. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome.
the job. Today we laying this fabric landscaping behind the wall around the agri pipe, and then we put we laying the gravel, the pebble, the blue metal, 20 mil. So now we lay the blue metal behind the wall and now we have to separate it, separate it 150 mil under the pipe all through the channel by shovel I'm doing that I'll show you that should be 150 and then we laying the pipe and minimum 150 on top of the pipe this mat stop the soil not coming through the channel and through the pipe to filter the soil and also protect the uh, waterproofing behind the wall it's not crashed there Yeah, I will help Tom to do it. This is the channel one. So install the pipe on top of the uh, uh, aggregates and then we cover the pipe by the aggregate as well following the details going through the pipe will come in and attach to the stone water from there need a connection for it's a hundred and hundred same size pipe we need the connection So as you can see, we cover the pipe We try to come in under the top blocks Covering by the pebbles So, the rain is installation done Tomorrow we have a council inspection for the drain and then we do the core fill all blocks just we leave that part open if they can see where is the pipe all through the wall As you can see, yeah. So the blocks core field and the caps installed on top of the plant. No, no, no. So the black core field and the caps installed on top by the mortar. You can use the liquid nail to install the caps but for this job we decided to use the mortar be the same and then continue all the work now it's a cleaning